Okay, we're headed into our first stop in Oxnard and there's really big thrift stores up here. We are going to Ventura County Rescue Mission. So let's see uh, what we can find. You could say I'm devastated. Not only am I obsessed with these shoes and I've had them for about a week, it just broke on my first thrift store too. Between that and my five shoes getting chewed up by my puppy, I am running out. What are these? Hang on, These are so cute. And I wish they were my size, but they're so tiny. But they're $20 in Chanel. Do I get them? Just for like, I don't know, to sell them? I mean, they're brand new. It says Chanel on the rubber. And no one cares, they're 20, 1999. A little cutie, $2.99, no chips. I'm telling you, this will improve your evening, your breakfast. It will upgrade your life to make tea in this and pour it in a little cup and saucer. Doesn't have to be expensive to be fancy. Frames are actually a really good thing to get at the thrift store. And this one's really cool because of this lamp. It's plugged in there. That could be really cool if you like painted it, painted the frame, and maybe put a big like picture in there. It's cool with the picture light. I mean, oh, $39.99, that's, it's a little too pricey for me, but sometimes they have 50% off. You never know. They haven't been worn very much. No socks. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. They need to be broken in. We think this is a thrift store, but it looks a lot like a pet store. You can't judge a book by its cover. Let's go see what it is. It doesn't say thrift anywhere, but we are going on right Good, good that it doesn't say thrift. All for more for us. Now you see where I got my competitive streak. My mom, literally, um, every restaurant we ever go to, we can't even park just to run inside. Somebody might get in first. <laughs> this is definitely a pet store. Okay, I bet you they have it, but it's not here. Look! Uh oh. Okay, I'm now in Ventura. We're at the bargain box. It moved, it was someplace else, and I actually got a pair of, ooh, vintage croc Ferragamos back in the day here. So, once you find Ranch House Restaurant, oh, once you find one really good thing, you become loyal. Even if everything seems kind of expensive, you always come back. She points out a side table, and I say, oh, but it's missing that. They could have glued that back on. She says, no, she won't do it. I'm trying to teach her how to be on camera. This is my tummer one tip if you want to be on camera. Speak. <laughs> Speak as if someone's listening. She only wants to be candid. <gasps> this is cute. Good eye. Five bucks. The question is, will it fit my ways? Let's try. The thing is, is it's maybe exactly the size of my waist. So it's totally actually comfortable, but I feel like one false move, snap. Oh my God, there's fluid in there. I Cute. live for a table light. <laughs> oh, light. what is it called? Table lighter. I'm not a very good smoker, am I? Just have this belt on, like, <laughs> like I've got it on. In my last move, all of my belts disappeared. I had a roommate for a minute and uh, a lot of my stuff disappeared. This is 100% brass, it's super heavy. It would be super cool with like a, a plant in it, maybe an ivy or a little vine or something on the table. I found a few good things, but I haven't bought anything. But my favorite one around here is actually around the corner off the main road. If you guys saw my thrift tips, I'm gonna link to that too. 31 top thrift tips, following them now. One of my tips, a bag that's hands-free. Another one, shoes that come on and off. They did break, but that's another story. I look casual, not too dressed up because you don't want to look too fancy to look like you have too much money.
Uh oh. Honestly, if I got everything that I wanted every time, I'd end up with so much stuff. And half the time, I guess I just feel like if it's not like a super hard yes, it's a no. So that's kind of my motto when it comes to thrifting. Sometimes that doesn't work out for me well when I regret things, but overall, I buy a lot of shit, so it's fine. All right, so first up, I got socks, which I know is so gross, and you have to be a real serious thrifter to want to buy socks from a thrift store, but they're not really like worn, and I thought they were kind of funny, red, white, and blue, and I feel like someone's mom just was like, you can't have those. So anyway, I bought them, I'll throw them in the washer, whatever, they look new. Then I got these little Minnetonkas, which I think are super cute. I love the fringe. Um, I've had a lot of different moccasins um, by Minnetonka. They're so comfortable. But I just the little white ankle ones are so cute because I like a cropped pant. Plus, I just thought maybe with like, I don't know, cutoffs or skirts or I don't know, a trip to Austin, Texas, Santa Fe, I don't know. And my final find, turns out, came from the estate of Phyllis Diller who's a comedian, very popular in the 1960s, had an estate in Brentwood that actually sold, I think, a few years ago for 12.9 million. She bought in the 1960s. I've been Googling it since I found this stuff. I got all this fabric, hang on, a bolt. I mean, look at the yardage. I didn't know what it was. I just thought like it looked kind of special and I loved the tonal stripes. I thought it looked kind of vintage. Ooh, this is pretty cute fabric, actually. Good stripe. <laughs> Right here, looks mid-cent. 12.95, it's a lot. I'm gonna get it. Turns out it's 100% silk, came from Phyllis Diller's house. The owner of the thrift store had been like hoarding a bunch of it for a year, and it's a whole long story, but the one was telling me about it there, and I love it. So, I'm super happy, actually, like I feel like this is my like really cool find. Plus, I have this like mid-century bench that I, would be really cool covered in this, maybe some bolsters on the side. It'd be cool as like Roman shades. Like it's just really opening up. I mean, mid-century fabric, mid-century ranch house. I think it's good. So we'll see. Oh, and if you guys have any ideas, what do you think would be good to use this fabric for? Let me know what you guys think of my thrifting today. And oh my God, what about those Chanel shoes? Why don't I wear a size five? That is the question. Anyway, see you guys next time. Bye.